In this video, we are going to talk about how to view Diagnose tool in Winetech HMI. Sometimes we need to check how what is the PLC status in our process. We need to check the various PLC tags, how the PLC is responding. We can do that in the Winetech HMI with built-in Diagnose tool. So how we can do that, we'll see various steps. So the first step is we have to enable Diagnoser in the HMI. That we can do in the remote settings of the project. So in Easy Builder Pro, we can go to remote settings and we can enable that. And after that, you have to you have to decide if you want to add some password or you want to make it password free. This is an optional view. And after that, once you enable that, you have to open your CMT viewer and you have to select Diagnoser like this. And when you click that, it will ask for the password which you will set during the settings. And that's it. Once you open this window, you can see PLC status. So let's see how we can do that. So I will minimize this window. So this is my HMI screen, HMI project, and I'm going to the settings in system parameters, and here I'll go to the remote, and here I can enable that. So this is the first step. Once you enable, you can make it password free or you can put the password. So let it be a password 111 111, okay. That's fine. Now I have to download this project into my HMI. So my HMI is already connected to my ethernet port 192.168.1.103. So I have to just download it, which will take a couple of few seconds. And parallelly, I can, I can open my CMT viewer, which I opened before, but I can open it again. This is my CMT viewer. And in CMT viewer, once the project is downloaded, I have to view the project, okay? And while it's being downloaded, I will just explain just explain the PLC program. It's quite simple. Nothing is happening. We have a bit M0, which runs the timer, and after the time, the output is on. That's a simple program. So once it's downloaded, I have to click on plus. Oh, right now it's extracting. But anyways, you can see the HMI IP address is here. So I have to just click on plus and then I have to put the password, which is 111111. This is my default password to view the HMI. This is not this is not a diagnoser password. So it will wait till the HMI is ready. So now it is downloading the program. And this is my HMI program. Very nice. So I will keep it here once it's fully loaded. And I will, yeah, it's finished. So I will cross this one. And that's my HMI. So if you see here, I click the input. Now my timer is running. And after that, my output is on. Now here, I don't know what is happening in the PLC. Which bit is that? Which timer um, bit is that? Or word is that? And which bit is the motor? I don't know that. This I can figure out if I go to Diagnoser. And here is the Diagnoser window. I have to put the password, 111, 111, click OK. Now here you can see that. If you see this bit, this is the bit for the motor, and this is, this is for the Ethernet connection, and if you see this one, this is the timer bit, and over this one, this is my input bit. So here you can also see the status. You can see what is the type, it's 32-bit, and this is a bit type, this is also 32-bit register, and that's also a bit type. So if I actuate my HMI again, you will see the status here. So in just case, if you want to know more information about what is a data type, and maybe you will also get the addresses here. Right now it says unsupported, maybe for Delta PLC, but for other PLC, you might see the address if it's M0, Y0, you know, it doesn't matter. If you don't have the HMI program, if you're just sitting on the CMT viewer, you can still see more information like that. And the more interesting part is, you can see here PLC status and Ethernet connection. Now, if you really want to know if your PLC is run or stop, you can check the PLC status. Now, in my PLC, I have a bit M1000, which shows the status of PLC. So for example, right now you can see that PLC is running. The PLC status is run. And if I want to show that PLC is not running, if I just want to diagnose the status of PLC, if I just go to stop, so you can see that PLC now is at stop mode. So this is also possible that you can put some more indication on your HMI screen to get the status of PLC. Now if I go back to run, this will be running and I can start my motor again, the timer is zero. Now the, another interesting thing is the ethernet connection, the connection between the PLC and HMI. Now, how do I get this connection here? Now, first I want to show you if I disconnect my PLC with the HMI, 
I have this bit which will go false. This bit you can also see on my real hardware HMI. All right, so I'm just going to unplug the PLC Ethernet port and we'll see the status here. So I just unplugged my Ethernet connection and you can see that the Ethernet bit is off. So you don't know what could be the problem with the communication, but the communication is not running at the moment. So this will also show you the status about the connection between the PLC and HMI. And if I go to Diagnose View, here you can see all are in error and this is false. Okay, so this will also give you an idea that this is a communication problem. So now I'm going to connect my Ethernet port back to my PLC. Now my Ethernet port is connected and you can see that the values are refreshed. And I can again run my HMI by putting some time and starting the input. And you can see the real time status here. So this window might be helpful if you want to get more information about what is happening inside a PLC. So this was all about this video in this lesson how to have a diagnoser window useful in your project. And this is all about adding a PLC status. This is optional if you like, you can do that. <coughs> so thank you for watching and there are many more predefined system functions which you can use in your HMI to get the status about the Ethernet connection and status about the PLC bits. If you need more information, you can go to the website www.winetech.com. The link is also given in the video description. So thank you for watching and I wish you a nice day.